today, I'm here to talk about a nuclear reactor in Singapore known as the SL-1 nuclear reactor meltdown that occurred on 3rd of January 1961 at the National Reactor Testing Station in Ida of the US. SL-1 is also known as the stationary low power reactor number 1, which is a 3 megawatt thermal boiling water reactor complete with a turbine generator and condenser designed to generate both electric power and EDP. The main reason for choosing this topic is that this incident marked a historic milestone as the first and fatal reactor accident in the US. On the night of 3rd of January 1961, the SR-1 nuclear reactor exploded, killing the three-member military crew. The crew had been performing the routine of reassembling the reactor control rod drive mechanism during a reactor outage. At 9 o'clock, alarms sounded at the fire station and security headquarters of the U.S. National Reactor Testing Station where the reactor was located. Investigation found that two operators died and detected high radiation levels in the building. The main crew in this incident were two army specialists and one Navy electrician's mate. This accident resulted in the immediate shutdown of the SL-1 reactor and the reactor building was heavily contaminated with radioactive materials. Following this accident, an extensive investigation was carried out to determine the cause of the accident. It was found that a combination of factors including procedural errors and a lack of proper safety precautions contributed to this disaster. Nevertheless, the direct cause of this incident was the improper withdrawal of the central control rod by a maintenance technician, which is designed to absorb the neutrons in the reactor core. examination of the core and the vessel concluded that the control rod was manually withdrawn by about 50 cm would have been enough to make the reactor critical, largely increasing the reactivity. Then released about 80 curies of iodine 131, which was not considered significant due to its location in a remote desert of Idaho. About 1,100 curies of fission products were released into the atmosphere. The design thermal power was 3 MW, with operational power distributed as 200 kW and 400 kW thermal for space heating. In this accident, the core power level reached nearly 20 MW in just 4 milliseconds. Processing the plate type fuel to melt. The motor fuel interacted with the water in the vessel, producing an explosive steam that caused the water to rise with a force that, when it hit the lid of the pressure vessel, the vessel itself rose 3 meters in the air before dropping back down, precipitating the reactor accident and steam explosion. To sum up, the SL 1 accident highlighted the importance of safety protocols and proper training in the nuclear industry. Besides, it also led to changes in the design of military nuclear reactors to prevent similar accidents in the future. Last but not least, I would like to express my sincere gratitude for your attentive participation in my presentation. I hope you found it informative and wish you a wonderful day ahead. Thank you.